What we wanted to do is get a sense of uh, how people or the extent to which people are using <clears throat> things like online video, like email alerts, like blogs, like text messaging, uh, to get information uh, about government to interact with, with government agencies. And so we asked a series of questions uh, about uh, some of those interactions uh, and found that about a third of internet users uh, had done one or more of those things in the, pre in the preceding 12 months. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the sort of the three most common are uh, you know, watching a video, uh, getting email alerts, uh, and, and reading uh, blogs of agencies or officials. So those, those are sort of the three big ones. Uh, at least at the time we did this, uh, which again, uh, you know, bear in mind, is, a, is sort of late 2009 timeframe. Uh, social networking sites, text messaging, and Twitter were a fairly small component uh, of uh, what people were, uh, the interactions people were having uh, with government outside uh, the context of websites. And so I, I think um, if we, you know, if, if, if someone were to redo this uh, question now or a year from now, I suspect you'd see some different answers on that. I just wanted to, to just kind of let you know that, uh, you know, this is sort of a little bit of function of the, uh, of the time frame in which this survey was conducted. So, uh, basically, you know, so as, as I was mentioning a second ago, what we found is that, you know, basically a third of the online population or the online adult population uh, did one of these activities outside of the context of government websites. So you know, doing things like watching videos or, or signing up for email alerts. Uh, in terms of their characteristics, they look a little bit similar to the, the sort of the, the heavy government users we talked about earlier. Uh, they have a little bit higher uh, levels uh, of income and education uh, compared with the general population. As you might imagine, they're fairly tech savvy. Uh, in the sense that 90% of them have a broadband connection at home, and about three quarters of them uh, are mobile internet users. Um, in terms of, I, I know that the, uh, this, this group here is sort of interested in the, the kind of things that people sign up for alerts about, whether it's email alerts or text alerts. Uh, we've done some additional research outside the context of this, and basically, uh, you know, the things that people are getting are, you know, it's sort of in order of priority, uh, breaking news, health data, Weather and traffic, schools, crime. Uh, those are the things, you know, kind of in order of, of what people are really kind of interested in uh, and sort of interested in being sort of constantly up to date about, at, 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 you know, at, at, up to the moment. Um, those are sort of the five key issues that we've seen, you know, in, in a lot of our work that people really uh, jive on in terms of, uh, you know, really having those, those alerts uh, delivered to them directly.